The wolf eel is one of the most unique-looking fish in the ocean, with its long, snake-like body and sharp teeth. These eels are not often seen by divers, but they are definitely worth a closer look. In this video, you will see interesting facts about wolf eel. Let's get started. Wolf eels are a type of fish that is found in the Pacific Ocean. Wolf eels are not true eels. They are actually fish. Although wolf eels have long, snake-like bodies like eels, they also have scales, pectoral fins, and paired gill slits. Also called sea wolves, this fish family gets its name from their long, sharp teeth. And like wolves, wolf eels are ferocious predators. Wolf eels have powerful jaws well adapted to crushing hard shells. Wolf eels have between 4 and 6 canine fangs at the front of their mouths. These fangs are for snagging and biting prey. Then the eels have rows of strong molars in the back of their mouths to crush and grind down prey. Because of these strong jaws, the wolf eel's skull is much larger than its long, thin body. The wolf eel has one long dorsal fin that runs from the top of its head and down to the end of its body. The eel also has 250 small fish bones that support the dorsal fin. Since wolf eels are vertebrates, they have a long spine extending from their skull to their tails. The fish bones are long and skinny bones that extend from the spine. These bones are long, thin, and flexible. They provide the fin with support but also allow for quick movement. Wolf eels have cartilaginous skeletons. Cartilage is sturdy but flexible. It's what allows the wolf eel to maneuver its long body so gracefully and squeeze into narrow cracks and crevices of its habitat. This also differentiates them from ancient bony fish, who had stiff skeletons made entirely of bone tissue. The average wolf eel's size is usually 7 feet long. However, it can grow even larger. Wolf eels can grow over 8 foot tall. The largest wolf eel known to man was about 2.5 meters tall. But it only weighed 44 pounds. Many wolf eels are as heavy as 88 pounds. Wolf eels, as fish, actually have scales. However, the scales are small and embedded in the eel's skin. The small, patterned scales give the eel a leathery, snake-like appearance. However, sometimes the scales on an eel's back become itchy. Eels don't have hands to scratch their backs, but they can swim upside down to scratch their backs along a rock. Wolf eels, like mores, are covered in an outer coating of slime. This slime helps them slip through narrow passages in reefs. It also acts as an immune system. The thick slime protects the eel from outside threats. Although adult wolf eels are usually dark gray, blue, or green, juveniles are very bright. Young wolf eels are bright orange with spots. Many of the young eels have browner patches along their bodies that give them a burnt look. As the eels mature, the color fades. Eels settle into darker, muddier colors. But each eel retains its own spots. Scientists can determine the sex of an adult wolf eel just from its color. Adult males are usually dark gray, blue, or green. Adult females are usually brown or reddish. Male and female wolf eels also have different spot patterns. Wolf eels form monogamous relationships. Once a male and female mate, they stay together for the rest of their lives. This is quite rare in nature. After spending their young adulthood in the open water, two mates find a den together, where they spend the rest of their lives. When the female lays eggs, parents take turns leaving the den to hunt while the other partner protects the eggs. A single female wolf eel can lay as many as 10,000 eggs at once. After laying the eggs, she will organize them into a neat, spherical pile. She wraps her body around the pile to protect the eggs and keep them warm. The eggs usually hatch 15 weeks later, and mom's job is pretty much done. The young larvae are carried away on ocean currents. 
Adult wolf eels spend their time slithering through cracks and crevices of coral reefs. But they spend their youth in the open water. When wolf eel eggs first hatch, they float away from their parents on ocean currents. Once the eels are about four months old, they start swimming in the open water around the middle depths of the ocean. As they grow, they migrate to shallow water. Young adults will feed along the ocean floor and explore habitats before mating begins. Wolf eels have several natural predators in the wild. These predators are even bigger and stronger than the wolf eel. They include sharks, larger fish, and harbor seals. Wolf eels prefer their reef habitats because they can escape through narrow passages among the rocks. But young wolf eels swimming in open water are much more exposed. Wolf eels are not considered an endangered species. However, their population has likely been declining for several years. Commercial fisheries do not target wolf eels, but human activity has been hurting the wolf eel population for decades. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Always give it 100, don't need a bank, no I'm funny.